Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Mubashir Engineering Insights. Today, we're diving into the professional design of sprinkler systems based on NFPA 13 standards. We'll break down every step from layout planning to hydraulic calculations with real formulas and examples that you can apply in the field. Whether you're a fire protection engineer, a student, or someone preparing a compliance project, this video is your complete guide. So let's jump in. A sprinkler system is an automatic fire suppression network designed to save lives and property. There are four major types. Wet pipe systems, where water is always in the pipe. Dry pipe systems, where air or nitrogen holds the water back. Pre-action systems used in sensitive areas with electrical or art installations. And deluge systems, where all heads release water at once. Each is selected based on the hazard classification, location, and NFPA 13 compliance. NFPA 13 divides spaces into three hazard classes. Light hazard, including offices and schools. Ordinary hazard group one and two, such as factories and parking garages, and extra hazard, like flammable liquids and storage facilities. The hazard classification dictates design density, spacing, and water demand. Let's begin with hydraulic design. The core formula is Q equals D times A, where Q is the required flow in liters per minute. D is design density in liters per minute per square meter as per hazard level, and A is the area of operation in square meters. For example, for ordinary hazard group two, D equals 8.1 millimeters per minute, and A equals 185.8 square meters. Then Q equals 8.1 times 185.8, which equals 1,505 liters per minute. That's your total water demand. Now we estimate pipe losses using the Hazen-Williams formula. P equals 4.52 times Q to the power 1.85, divided by C to the power 1.85 times D to the power 4.87, where P is pressure loss, Q is flow in gallons per minute, D is pipe diameter in inches, and C is the pipe roughness coefficient. Use software like PipeCalc or Excel for accuracy. Sprinkler head selection depends on layout and aesthetics. Each head has a K factor, which affects flow rate. The formula is Q equals K times the square root of P. For example, if K equals 5.6 and P equals 7 PSI, then Q equals 5.6 times the square root of 7, which is approximately 14.8 gallons per minute. Spacing rules from NFPA include maximum coverage of 21 square meters per head and maximum spacing of 4.6 meters. Heads must be aligned to avoid beam obstructions. Choose temperature rating and coverage wisely. Pipe layout affects pressure and reliability. There are three main types. Tree system, which is simple, cheaper, and has dead ends. Loop system, which is more reliable with better pressure distribution. And grid system, best for large zones and even flow. Use AutoCAD or Revit Miki for layout with NFPA overlays. Pipe diameters are selected based on flow rate, friction loss, and cost efficiency. If municipal pressure isn't enough, add a fire pump. Pump sizing must deliver the required flow at calculated pressure. Use NFPA 20 for selection criteria. The pump power formula is P equals Q times H times RHO divided by 367 times ETA, where Q is flow in cubic meters per hour, H is head in meters, and ETA is efficiency, typically 0.7. Tank sizing uses the formula V equals Q times T. For example, if Q equals 1505 liters per minute and T equals 30 minutes, then V equals 1505 times 30, which is 45,150 liters. You'll need backup like diesel pumps or jockey pumps for maintenance pressure. Before handover, the system must be tested. The hydrostatic test pressure equals 1.5 times the working pressure. If working pressure equals 12 bar, test at 18 bar. Pipe flushing removes debris. Tagging involves labeling heads and valves. Inspection includes internal 
and third-party checks. Document all results per NFPA 13 for insurance and compliance. That's your complete guide to sprinkler system design using NFPA 13, with formulas, engineering examples, and layout strategies. Make sure to like, subscribe, and drop your questions in the comments. Want a downloadable PDF of the formulas? Check the video description. Next week's video is titled Sprinkler System Installation Tools, Tips, and Site Walkthrough. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay compliant.